everybody to Bloomfield, Canada. So at the end of the last episode, I had just started uh, this barley contract. And I had mentioned about possibly fast forwarding through some months. Um, as you can see, I ended up doing that. It is now July. Um, let me get this uh, picking up some of the grain and then I'll kind of show you what's happening. So, I have a few contracts going on. I have this big one. Uh, when this is done, I have a, I believe it's oats. No, another barley contract here uh, to take over that I'm going to use this equipment for. And then I have a few smaller ones. I have a wheat contract here and um, an oat and a barley over here that I'm going to use this smaller equipment for. Um, and then I also, the reason I went to July, oh, let me get this guy out of the way. If he lets me get out of the way first, don't crash. Oh, geez. Okay, that should work. Uh, let me find him. Um, yes, so this guy was doing some fertilizing of our grass field, but as you can see, it is now ready. So I think I wanted to kind of create like a new rule with contracts. Um, it's not a hard and fast rule, just kind of a way to get away from doing so many. Um, so what I'm going to be doing is are really only be working on or at least take a contract if I have work to do on my own fields. So that way I'm only really working on a contract when I'm also working on my own fields. So I gotta actually put this weight down. So in order to kind of abide by that, I, that's part of the reason why I fast forwarded to July. Um, also, there was only one contract in the month I was in. Um, so it's, it's just more efficient, um, to, you know, obviously do multiple at one time. So, um, I'm just going to get a, really need to get a back more for this. This just takes so long, but I'm going to get this guy going. This is all going to go into silage. Um, actually that reminds me, get this guy started. I'm going to check on the cows. Okay, so yeah, they're, they're a little bit low in the TMR. Um, I'm actually just kind of going to let it go to empty so they start taking away some of that hay. And the reason for that is just because, you know, there's a total capacity for food. Um, and I don't want half of it taken by the hay at all times. So I'm just going to let them kind of eat away at that a little bit. Um, and actually, now that I say that, I don't even have any silage to make TMR right now anyways, since um, the stuff I get from this field is going to have to ferment, so. Um, yeah, so that'll be the plan. It'll or let the let the cows eat a little bit of the hay away. All right, so let me go get this. Oh, wow, I can't move. I switched the... Um, I don't remember when I did this actually, but I, I switched the, the speed gauge at the bottom right to represent kilometers per hour. I think Canada does kilometers per hour. I feel like they do. I'm not sure actually. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong in the comments. They might do, they might do a mixture of both actually. I don't know. Is going to fill us up. Close. Sweet. And now I can't move. Um, I'm going to put that on cruise. I want to check to see where they're all going. So. 
um, let's see, grain mill, grain mill, grain mill. That was already delivered, actually. Interesting. Okay. Um, cereal factory. So the oats, everything's going to the grain mill except for the oats. Yeah, my last uh, drop-off might have apparently finished 26 in terms of um, material to be dropped off. Let's see if you can do it by yourself. Deliver. Um, where is it? Green mill. There we go. And then you can come back to here if you can. Cool. Let's we'll see if that works. All right, you're good. You are not good. Yeah, and it's it's definitely missing some. Um, I'm just gonna wait to the end and clean all that up. And then, yeah, like I said, move this to the uh, field 16 and have this this combo finish up 16. I think that should be good. Um, I have a feeling we're probably actually going to finish the harvesting contracts before I'm done with the grass field. So, I might be finishing up today's episode with some, some grass work. Because it does take a while. It probably takes the longest for cutting the grass since I only have the one small rent piece. So yeah, we're definitely going to need to get... I wonder how much that is. Oh, and one thing I forgot to do. Not that I... Actually, probably for the best, but... I forgot to check this sales store as I was flipping through the days. But I think that's probably okay. Get this guy out of the... Crop. Uh, let's check that now, though. Um... Uh, not too much. That would be good for taking trees out. But... And just some cedars and things. Uh, yeah, nothing. I mean, that would be nice. But, yeah, I don't want to spend that. So again, we're getting to, what's that, 350? Yeah, 350. Actually, while we're over here, let's go take a look at our sugarcane field. I don't remember if I was recording when I did it or not, but I, I did um, fertilize it, so it's it's good on nitrogen. It's still low on pH, but yeah, there it is. Yeah, pH is a little low, but nitrogen's good. And this will be harvestable in... Um, October. Okay, so we still got three more months. Which is good because I can use a few months to to make some more money. Uh, let's see. So next month we can do more wheat and sorghum. Um, but I guess next month we won't have any of our own work, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, so this 53 over here will be ready, 56, pretty much all the sorghum. Yeah. This oat field will be ready, these oat fields will be ready. They have to be a lot of good contracts, but I don't know, I will have to see. I will have to see how I feel about it. Let me actually see if I can fill this up. Just follow along. Hopefully, I only need like a few more drop offs with this, maybe two. Maybe with the extra stuff, maybe three. But hopefully, just two.
have to kind of drive the, excuse me, I have to drive the truck over by myself because the AI struggles with it. It gets stuck a lot. Just trying to check to see if my other guy's still moving. Yep, this is transported, so he dropped it off. Nice. And it looks like he's moving out, so cool. I guess that, that drop off will work. One less thing I have to do. Yeah, and as you can see, I am not afraid to use workers. Um, I know some people like to do everything themselves. I, um, I kind of view it more like a, let's just try through this grass, kind of like a farm manager, if uh, that makes sense. So like, you know, zipping around to each, each project that we're working on and checking progress and helping out where I can. It's kind of the way I like to play. I'm sure you've probably noticed that by now. Um, but I do like to try to be doing things. Um, there are occasions where, you know, when I'm not filming, of course, um, where I will, you know, like eat dinner or something while doing like a, oh geez, oh my God. While doing like a big field. Um, and just kind of let them let them do it on their own. Uh, usually not harvesting contracts because you have to, you know, do the whole pick up and drop off and all that. Um, but if I'm like, you know, cultivating a field or something, plowing a field or something like that, or just let the AI, AI go and, you know, have my dinner. All right, so. Oh. Guess we're doing the back first. Almost halfway done for for this contract. Now it it did finish that 26. Um, and I'm not sure if it finished any of 16. No. So we still have two more barley fields to harvest. Um, yeah. Hopefully we get a decent amount of extra from that. Yeah, the AI has lots of trouble with these turns. I mean, you saw me turning in. <laughs> yeah, it does not do that much better. There's also this bump down here that it, I always struggle with. That actually was pretty good. So I'm really excited. I really hope we can get the sugarcane harvester because I think not having to wait a whole another year to get some money off of that will definitely be um, beneficial for us. Because um, if, if I can get that harvester, that, that's one more field of profit for us. And I think it's just going to exponentially Maybe not exponentially, but it, it'll really help our farm moving forward. Um, because the next, kind of the next steps from that, I mean, I have a few pieces of equipment I kind of want to pick up, like the back of the um, grass cutter, uh, lawnmower, <laughs> found the word. <laughs> um, something to spread lime. Those are, those are kind of the two big main ones. Um, let me check on it. Oh, jeez. You did, like, nothing. 
Um, and then even like a uh, forage harvester for this grass, just to make it a little bit, a little bit easier. Um, but that that would probably only be for the hay at the beginning because I need somewhere to turn this grass into silage. So I know there's bunkers over at the BGA, so that would probably be after the BGA is purchased. Um, yeah, and then. And from there, it's really just kind of getting some harvesting materials, some like a, a harvester and a trailer, essentially, I think is all I really need. And start buying like that field I'm looking at and buying some more fields. Oh, planters and stuff, I need those as well. Probably just start with a... Uh... It's not right behind you, it's the store. Probably just a cedar, um, one of the bigger ones. Um, for precision farming purposes, I'll probably stick to one of these. And this is the biggest. It's only eight meters, which is a little unfortunate. But yeah, I think I think the first crop we're gonna do is soybean, um, because we can just sell the soybean for profit, which sells pretty high, even though you get, don't get a high yield. Um, and then it'll also give us straw because of the mod I have on, so we can use that for the cows. Oh, I knew someone was waiting for me. Cool, so this field is just about done. So actually, I think this is the only wheat field I have. So I can, this guy go drop it off, and I can bring the, the harvester to the other small fields. Actually, let me get out of the way. Just to keep us moving along. Somehow, I'm driving through this and it doesn't do anything. Yeah, I'm really gonna have to be careful once I get my own fields with the crop destruction. So yeah, we're moving right along through the years. Uh, we're in year three. Um, I I would like to, I don't know if I really have a goal year limit, but I feel like anything greater than like 20 years is just a little unrealistic. And plus at the rate we're going, I feel like that would take a while. Um, I'm hoping like somewhere between like 100 and, 100 and, I don't know, maybe max 150 episodes. Um, I forget what episode we're at, uh, 20 something I think? 20? Somewhere around there. Um, and I think we're just starting to finally kind of get into our own for the, the farm, so. Yeah, hopefully like by episode 50 it'll just kind of be like a plug and chug, do the same thing, make some money, stuff like that. So, yeah, we'll see. And I, uh, just a little bit of a hint for notice of what's ahead. I do have, oh, make sure it's empty. Yeah. Um, I do have some other farming simulator um, playthroughs kind of set up. Actually, before I do that, let me get you going to the drop-off. Very slowly. Um, so yeah, I know I've talked in the past about a environmental playthrough. Um, it's not that I don't want to do that, 
I've just been kind of holding off because it's it's going to be I feel like it's going to be a big undertaking and I want to make sure I have um, all the correct mods and everything for that because I'm going to try to make it like as realistic as possible. Oh my god, you keep stopping. It's going to take forever if you keep doing that. Okay. There we go. Um, so I think the next one I'm going to start, and it will probably be coming out relatively soon. Um, I won't give the map away yet, but um, it's, it's a smaller map. Um, it's not really going to have too many rules. Um, I think... And this isn't set in stone yet, but my, my thought for the rules is just to be um, no loans, so I can't take out any any loan, um, and possibly no contracts, um, because the way I'm going to start is I'm just going to start on New Farmer, so or have a lot of trees, sorry. Um, or have all the equipment you kind of start with that the the mod uh, map maker uh, wants you to start with and then we we'll just kind of play try to make some money at some point um, once I get into it I'll probably make some goal of um, you know some cash goal that we want to get to um, but yeah it'll, it'll probably be a relatively short series no more than like 50 episodes, I think, is a short series, so. So, yeah, that should, should probably be coming out pretty soon. The reason I kind of want to do that is uh, I, there's a lot of different great maps that the modders of Farming Simulator 22 have created, um, and I really want to play on a lot of them, so I think some kind of, like, quick series where I just kind of get in there and, you know, use what they have, what they give me, to kind of uh, make my money that way. I think that's kind of one of the better ways to to play a lot of those maps. Let me find a good spot to... Because both of these... Both of these need done. Hold on there, car. I'm going to start with this one because it's barley. Just to get all the barley out of the way. Um, since this is... Um, well, it's not the last month, but they're not, it's not harvestable next month, so I want to make sure I get that done. I guess I don't really need a headland there. I'll just go here. Oh, crap. Nope, don't move forward. I'm trying to get out of your way. Right, let's see how our grass cutting's doing. Oh, look, he figured it out. Or she? She, sorry. Let's go look at the cows. How are the cows doing? Just sitting there. Eating. Resting. Hello. How are you? How's that grass taste? Oh, okay. Oh, sorry. Yep. Okay, sorry. Get out of your way. Just checking on things. I wonder if it actually has the amount of cows that we have. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Look at that. I don't... I know that's not true for definitely chickens, but... Yeah. But there's actually the amount of cows that we have. That's cool. All right. Um, yeah, we have plenty of hay. Oh, I guess we do have a little bit of silage. I don't know why I was thinking we were out. Yeah, and we're going to have to find a new place for these because we're going to have a bunch of silage bales. Ooh, field 7 finished. Nice. I don't want to turn that in yet, though, because um, I'm borrowing that equipment for the others. Um, which I have to remember. Um, because we're getting close to the end of the episode. I have to remember, uh, before I sign off, to 
make sure I finish that. So, um, cause I'll probably be signing off after this episode. Maybe I'll play a little bit, uh, in between, but, um, okay. So you are going to probably make pretty quick work of this. Actually, you need to go, you need to go over here now. Go. Of course, it's at the top of the hill. Yeah, I think I'm going to follow it. Um, hopefully. No, I think I'm just going to pick this up and then go drop off. Um, it shouldn't take more than another full load after this. So, I'll just take what it has, drop this off, and we should be good for this contract. Forget how much the BGA is. Of course I can't jump in there. Um, I know it's quite a bit of money. Yes, there we go. Where's the buy? Right here. Ooh, wow. Yeah, I I forgot how much that was. Um, okay. That'll be tough to get there. I don't think we're going to be buying the BGA for a while. Like we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have to focus on other things first. Um, you know, the, the rundown I gave you before, but obviously, um, definitely getting into more fields and some, some harvesting equipment and stuff before I think about getting the BGA. Um, because this. I mean, like I, like I said before, the silage I want to do um, won't always be from grass. I want to do corn for silage. So, yeah, that might be a little bit far out, especially with that being so expensive. But that, I mean, I feel like we will make our money back pretty quickly on that because the, the cows produce a lot of slurry and manure that I can, you know, use for that. Use, use to sell it, bring it to the BGA and make some digestive from it. I don't think I'm going to reapply the digestate to the fields. I'll probably just sell it. Um, it doesn't sell for much, but it sells as much as the slurry and manure do, if I remember right. Um, and you actually get to make, make a little bit of money as you produce it, so... Here's the, there it is. The drop off wasn't showing up for me. Sixty nine per cent for fifty eight. So bring this to maybe eighty. 76. Not bad. Don't crash. All right, well, it looks like we're about at time, so in between episodes, I'm going to keep working through these contracts. Um, I think I'll probably bring you back next time 
when I've moved to the grass field um, and just work through the grass field since I'm pretty sure these contracts will probably be done by the time I have to bale the grass, um, which is when I can't use a contractor for it. There are not a contractor. Yeah, I guess it's kind of a contractor. A worker, essentially. Um, yeah, so that's probably when I'll bring it back in. Um, get these get these harvesting contracts finished up and hopefully by the end of it, um, uh, I'm guessing maybe around 200 grand is where we'll be at. So, so yeah. Uh, thanks, thanks for watching, thanks for joining, and I hope you join me again next time. Have a good one.